as we continue to push the boundaries, experimenting, testing and researching new ways of reducing shipping's carbon footprint, ensuring safety at sea will always remain paramount. Claire Ashworth reports on an innovative project testing hydrogen fuel to the very limits. It is perhaps the most burning question of all for the engine of global trade. How to fuel the shipping industry safely, efficiently and with a low environmental impact. The answer may lie inland. Behind DNV Spade Adams' tranquil exterior lies a large-scale research and development base that's already making waves throughout the maritime world as the industry moves towards adopting alternative fuels such as LNG, LPG, methanol, ammonia and biofuels, as well as green hydrogen in a bid to decarbonise. In the UK's Cumbrian countryside, the Global Classification Society works to make sure that operations with new maritime fuels are safe. There's no doubt that the shipping industry needs to address its green credentials, not least in order to meet emissions targets. But that is something that DNV are more than happy to make some noise about. Through world-class research and innovation, DMV knows the challenges that customers face when it comes to achieving net zero and the seismic shifts in safety and design required to choose the right fuel strategy for their vessels. Just one reason why key industry stakeholders are already keen to collaborate and explore a range of fuel test scenarios and analysis with leading research specialists. Specialists like Dan Allison. Countdown starting now. Five, four, three, two, one, fire. We do the things that you, you don't want to happen on your actual facility, so uh, the explosions and the demonstrations that we do on, on, on the site uh, are centred around uh, making sure that they don't happen uh, in, in reality, if you like, away from uh, centres such as this where they can be conducted in a controlled manner. If we don't understand these fires and these explosions and, and various other hazards. Uh, if we don't understand them, then we don't know how to predict them. And if we don't know how to predict them, we don't know how to design plants and we don't know how to design facilities and ships uh, to be safe. Safeguarding life, property and the environment has been the foundation of DMB's operations for 157 years. But it's supporting the industry and understanding which pathways towards decarbonisation are worth pursuing that's critical right now. More research needs to be done and to have a centre like Spade Adam where we are able to do that research and transfer that research into the areas, for instance, classification or directly to our customers, to the ship owners, to support the entire shipping industry. It, it is fantastic. We are in a very good position to help this transition. Some of the most promising research projects happen through collaboration, which makes DNV's hydrogen work with 25 companies and industry associations so significant. As one of the world's leading energy companies, Shell was keen to be part of the research. The work that's going on at DNV Spade Adam is so, so important um, to help us to understand, in particular, hydrogen's behaviour. And, and with that learning from blowing things up and setting it on fire and spilling it, we can then develop the designs with, with design houses, engineering firms and shipyards to make sure that those ships of the future are safe. We, we have aligned strategies. We're trying to achieve, achieve the same things and at the same pace. We believe uh, action now is absolutely critical. But in addition, DNV's depth, technical capability is second to none, you know, and, and that's been the combined expertise of Shell and DNV allows us to really pr make progress quickly. Adapting to change, to exploring safe shipping alternatives efficiently and stepping into a cleaner future are not easy conversations to have. There are costs, risks, challenges, but addressing those issues has never been more crucial. These are areas where research and risk management offers confidence in attaining energy standards across the shipping industry for others to follow. It's never fun to go first um, and, and knowing that there's the kind of the potential financial implications of getting it wrong, that's a scary place to be. So, but we understand that. And I think that's where together 
we can you know work together and and kind of collaborate and support each other to to find the right solutions for the right locations and the right ship types there are many roads that could lead shipping towards decarbonisation, but there's no silver bullet for all. Understanding the behaviour and safety implications of emerging fuels is key to creating a clear path for different operators and ship types. Research and testing are the core of making informed decisions in this complex environment and create a stronger foundation for decision making for tomorrow and for all.